everybody, welcome back to Invest Naturally. And in today's video, I just want to talk about how I converted into mainly using reusable water bottles to drink water out of instead of single use plastic bottles. All right, so let's get on to the video. Before we get into talking why I'm using these bottles, let's talk about the pros of these bottles. Let's face it, you don't have to refill this bottle of water. You don't have to clean it and you don't have to store it. All you have to do is buy the water, take it with you, and if you forget it, you can buy a new one at a convenience store and sometimes even at the office you work at or at the school you go to. Anything that sells goods will usually have water bottle for sale and you're easily rehydrated. You don't have to worry about finding a location suitable for you to refill these water bottles with. All you do is buy it, drink it, and you're rehydrated just like that. So it's very convenient for keeping you rehydrated. And once you're done drinking it, all you have to do is discard it. And because you discard it, you don't have to continuously carry it around with you. This can be an annoyance for some people. And especially for forgetful people, this is great. Because even if you haven't completely finished drinking it, if you forget it, so what? It only costs you like a buck or two, right? The other pro to this is they're very rugged and resilient. If you drop it and it breaks and it'll be fine, it won't break like glass. You can stick them in the freezer and they won't shatter into a lot of pieces. Like if you accidentally fail to the top of the rim of a glass bottle, that will break if you were to give a child a glass single-use water bottle and they broke it they could potentially hurt themselves because it will break into many pieces the other benefit is it tastes better some tap water might taste a little bitter kind of a metallic metal taste to it bottled water won't have that taste if anything they won't have any taste sometimes we don't like the taste of plain dull water it gets boring we like sugar we love flavor so companies have implemented sparkling water where it mimic the idea in your brain that you are drinking a nice soft refreshing carbonated soda but instead you're actually drinking carbonated water with a hint of flavor so companies like these will create flavored waters for you to enjoy. The other benefit is that this water is a lot safer to drink. And by safer, I mean that it's cleaner if you were living in Flint with contaminated water that had lead or a sewer pipe busted or there were some chemicals that leaked into that water. That's when these are much safer to drink and I would prefer you to drink this water than trying to be more eco-friendly. The other thing, and one of the main driving factors why I will never give up these water bottles are in situations of natural disasters, you really don't have time to think about how you're going to use as little waste. When it's a natural disaster, we want to give them as much water, as many nutritional value items as quick as we can. But sometimes it's easier just to hand out pallets of packets, especially if they're given for free by large companies to help support the relief in those areas. They're great for handing out to people that you will never see again. I can't give a homeless person this water bottle, but I can go into the store and buy a single use water bottle and give it to them. I would rather give a homeless person this water bottle so that they're rehydrated than nothing at all because I'm too concerned about the environment. All right. So now that we've talked about some of the pros, let's get on to the cons. And the main con is, again, the environment. And there's situations your city landfill is going through. One is they've already replaced their landfill. And so they have a good amount of years before they have to consider finding another landfill. But for now, you're safe. You don't really have to worry about this. Your city's probably coming up with other ways, but as of right now, they're not too worried. The other thing is your city landfill is almost full. So now your city is scrambling to think of ways because they can't find suitable, reasonable location to put their new landfill in. So now they're thinking of ways to reduce the amount of trash that is sent to landfill. So simple ways. 
I know a lot of y'all have heard about the three R's, but there's really four R's. The first one that we all know and love is reduce. That's the main thing you can do. The easiest thing you have to do is buy less and toss less. The second one is reuse. Instead of just tossing this out, try giving it a, two more uses before you, you know, toss it into the recycling bin. The third one is recycle. That's also very easy, but there's, it's not just about recycling, but also recycling properly. And a lot of cities make it easy when they provide you a recycling bin. The fourth one, if you knew the fourth one before this video, in the comments below, let me know. So the fourth one is rot. What does that mean? It means composting. All of us don't really have the land to properly compost. Some of our cities do provide a compost facility. I know Fort Worth has implemented this. And so it's a trial program. It hasn't fully been established yet, but they're testing it out. So all residents have to do is collect their food waste and send it to one of those facilities that will then collect and do the composting for you. The other thing cities are doing, mine included, are allowing residents of the city to go to these classes for free. And the best part is that they give you a compost container and they even let you build your own vermicompost bin. And if you don't know what a vermicompost bin is, it's basically a worm bin that eat your garden veggies and fruit. I know a lot of y'all might not consider it, but if you want to know more, there's further more on that in another video. So yeah, instead of sending all this food waste to the landfill, it's best to just do it in your own backyard if you have it or send it out to a composting facility that will do all the hard work for you. All of those are the responsible ways. You're either tossing this out in a trash bin not the best option or properly disposing it in the recycling bin. The problem is sometimes there'll be bad weather outside or stray animals, wildlife out and about, and this will end up going out into the wilderness. That's why it's so bad. If you can just stop using so much, then you know, we don't have to worry about that. So yes, you're sending it out to the landfill. Yes, you're sending it out to recycling, but not all of it gets recycled and not all of it gets to the landfill. And when it does get to landfill, all it does is stack up, stack up, stack up. It's not benefiting us in any way. All it's doing is making it a lot worse. Now, if you haven't considered the waste factor seriously, let's talk about how many water bottles you would have to drink in a day. Based on the eight by eight rule, you would have to drink four 16 fluid ounce single use water bottles in one day, okay? I know, I know, that's not a lot, but in one week, you would have used up 28, okay? Still not a lot, right? It's like a case or two in one month, Based on four seven day weeks, you would have consumed 112 water bottles. In one whole year, for just one person drinking these 16 fluid ounce bottles, you would have consumed 1,344 bottles. Is that not a lot to you? Think about it. How old are you? Times that by this much, and that's how much you've sent to landfill or recycling. And I know, recycling, right? But it's downcycling. This water bottle will never ever be this water bottle. This water bottle might end up being a lesser quality water bottle than that water bottle might end up being a plastic straw. And then from there, they can't be recycled. So that's 1,344 bottles in one year. Some of them will end up in recycling. Some of them will end up in the trash, which will then end up in landfill. And then unfortunately, the other percent will end up in our waterways and our parks sometimes even in our own backyard. If it's not the environment that would make you wonder why you are even buying this, how about the cost? It's pretty expensive. Can you guess how much? 
it's about 2,000 times the amount that it would cost you to drink this tap water. I don't know about you, but I'm cheap. I know $2, $1 isn't a lot, but it does add up. It's a lot of money when you can just drink this that costs you barely even a cent. And in most cases, it's completely free. I know the environment's very important, but honestly, the main reason I decided to start using my refillable water bottles because I'm lazy. There's pros and cons about this water bottle. You have to remember to take it with you. You have to wash it. And the other thing is, you have to find storage for them when you need at least three bottles of water because again, I'm lazy. I don't like washing this every other day. Lazy and to the point where I don't want to constantly be reminding myself to buy these water bottles because they get expensive when you're buying single water bottles. It's way cheaper to buy cases. The other thing is I have a bad back, so I can't be loading case after case every week. In the store, you have a car, but when you're home, Depending where you live, if you live in an apartment or if you have to park far away from your home, if you don't have a close parking spot near your house, you have to load that case of water with you. And then you also have to find a place for it because it's not just two or three of these. It's a good amount of 16 to 24 plus of water bottles. And then, oh, don't get me started on that trash. If you're not putting it in the recycling, it's in that trash can. And boy, does that trash fill up. And then I have to remember to take out the trash no so yeah it's because i'm lazy and then the other thing is i'm cheap when i was going to college they had refillable station after refillable station so i'll take my water bottle i never bought water when i went to college i was cheap college is expensive and i'm still cheap and that's why i'm still doing it the other thing is you don't have to buy these water bottles because in college they normally hand these out for free so i didn't even have to pay three to five plus dollars for the container that was completely free for me too it all started because i was lazy then it's because i was cheap lastly the environment i don't know about you paying two thousand times the price of this for this bottle of water that's that you will literally drink in like less than two, two minutes if not the whole entire day for you to send four bottle of waters outside every day that will never be beneficial nutrients because it will never decompose it will break down but it'll end up breaking down into small microplastics which will then end up in our food system ending up in our water system i know a lot of people say these water bottles are bad because of the plastic that seeps, seeps inside of it well newsflash there's plastic in this water bottle too. Not just because my container is plastic, but because the water system already contains plastic. Yes, it, there's a higher percentage, but they both contain plastic in them. Even if you were to put it in a metal container or a glass container, they both contain plastic. But that's the reason why I decided to predominantly use the reusable water bottle. And I know, Sometimes you'll forget the water bottle. So again, I haven't stopped using single use water bottles. I just significantly reduced it. And if that's all you can do, then that's fine. This isn't about being perfect. This is about doing what you can. And if you're in the situation that you don't have a lot of money, why are you buying that water bottle? Why? When you can get the water for nearly free, if not free, if you really care about the environment, then this is a real, real easy way to reduce that. So I don't know about you, but the winner to me is the reusable water bottle. All right, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.